All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of Keychain Gets Frustrated or Weird Card Mechanics, also known as Arcanium. I think it's great and all, but uh, <laughs> sometimes this game is a little bit weird, and it may be that I'm just misunderstanding some things. But we'll keep learning, and the key will, game will keep growing. So, this episode, we're at 16 steps. Uh, I definitely don't want to go for the boss while we are this wounded, so we're not doing anything to that effect right now. Uh, but we are considering doing it early for sure. I just need to like heal up, restore the health down here, or upgrade cards. We can go through the go for this quest over here. Just go through a defense battle. There's a shard battle down here. I would rather not want to. I wonder. Fast travel. Spend one turn to fast travel. Yeah, so we would have to spend steps again. can't make a path through right now but we only have to like go through one uh, battle here in order to connect which is also a step so it would be better to do this one right he add oh, here's an item and a, hold on three abilities okay it's the same we just we can't see the rarity from up here. I think we'll do this fight. The name of the game is to keep Leon alive. The life cycle. Let's open with that and see what it does. It does yellow damage and these guys have yellow resistance. So hold. Uh, Crusader Strike should give him some healing. No, not at all. Hmm. Leech isn't working out as well as I had hoped. A lot of the time it seems to do no healing. Again, I forgot about the multi-shot. I keep forgetting. It's terrible. So we'll wait until next turn here. But he, she gains... 4 AP per turn, so we definitely need to spend all that we can. Uh, here's some healing, that's nice. Uh, I want to do... Yeah, let's do it like this. Come over here, Jagged Roots. They're still taking some damage, and Leon will heal a little bit this way. Yeah, nothing from the leech, but he did gain something from the judgment itself, of course. And I don't see why we wouldn't just spend this, so put that there. Put out the foul familiar here to help Leon, but apparently this is a line attack, so that was a terrible play. And check. And that's my fault. It gets one attack off, so it's seven damage for. Oh, sorry, four. What? Seven, four. No, it's six damage. Four, one, for, for free for a potion. Not the best use of a, an, an item. I, sh I should call it an item, not a potion. But it's fine. Then, quick draw here. Now we have a bunch of arrows and the multi shot, so murder this f dude here. Good. Keep hitting with the judgment, I think. They're all light resistance, but what can you do? Such is life. Oh, we can do the life cycle. So let's see if we understand it now. Five damage is being dealt. No, only three damage is being dealt. So the resistance. And we gain 46 shield well it's a really good card for some reason um i want to power grip you then judgment you do quite as much as i thought it would it's okay though we can murder more folks by doing this and then a heart seeker 
overkilling a bit. But we've got enough actions and cards to do it. So... I kind of still want to test out my theory with Terra and uh, the uh, Tribal Bulwark big game net combo. So Leon... No. Terra moves one over or Ang Angon moves one over. Then Leon. And this guy is dying. So we're taking the hit from the Spiderling and then we'll see what happens with the Spiderling. Oh, we got Elusive. Uh, hit it with the Shadowwood Arrow. The Vulnerable. And then now... Leon is going to be happy. Do we want to steal the Taunt here to get double Crusader Strikes going? I think so. Yeah. Like that. Double Crusader Strike. A bit of healing. I'll play the Selfless just to get rid of it. 12 damage incoming. We can kill the elusive no no trouble at all. We want Terra to stay in this position, so we might have Angon and Leon switch here. Or we can just give him shield. So if I say Thorny Shield. Two damage taken now. Let's try the recycle. I uh, I suspect if I play it on Angon, what's it gonna do? Well, it's gonna discard these two cards and draw two new ones. I mean, that's the obvious conclusion, right? Oh, we can choose. Aha. Uh -huh. Even better. We get freedom to choose. Very nice. Uh, we can gain stealth. Sure. Getting us a ton of money. I could ult in order to not take the two damage. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's that seems like a crazy overkill, but what else are we going to do at this point? We are dominating this fight. We can also set up the regeneration. Sounds good to me. The spider here died, but did not turn into a, uh, a minion for me. This with the GP came net. So that's kind of disappointing, which means this is kind of a, a bad combo, it turns out. Oh well, another elusive. Murder. Uh, but we don't really have the murder potential this turn. I should do the math, I suppose. Five plus five. 5 is 10, plus... Oh, this one does double damage. Uh, so that's 26. Yeah, I think we have the kill. Because we also have support over here. Just like that. And toxic arrow for you. Charted quiver. And the ult. So why not? can challenge people. I believe this makes us money when he does that because he hits people technically. Uh, even though they don't take damage, I believe it still activates the Thieves' Pouch. Play the Selflessness. 13 damage incoming on him. Which we are not going to be able to tank with what we've got right now, but we can just move him away. Then give Thorny Shield to her. That didn't work because this is a piercing attack. Makes sense. Okay. Get the Sunspy Knight out. Suppose I will hit here because why wouldn't I? And? Oh, we can do immunity here. And we'll take no damage. And I believe that's the end of the fight. 
We're not healing as quick as I would like throughout these fights. We are, I think we healed a little bit in this fight and have been over the past few. Uh, but it's not like we are growing really quickly, just slowly. Okay, and an upgraded enchanted quiver. Is that what we have already? Or do we have the unupgraded enchanted quiver? We have an unupgraded enchanted quiver, so we could get the upgraded one. I don't think I would have both. Uh, I don't want any of the other things. Like, I, stealth is great, for sure, but... Oh, and withdraw one. Stealth, then. If you are being targeted by an enemy, redirect the targeting arrow to a random adjacent ally. Crowd control CC cannot be removed. It's considered crowd control. Interesting. No, I think this is definitely just an upgrade. It's an action upgrade. Take it. Come in here. Uh, would you run double quiver? I... I think it could be good. Like instead of a heart seeker or instead of a toxic arrow. Instead of the heart seeker. Let's try double enchanted quiver here. I, uh, I'm not sure how that's going to play out. Done this way. That was a quick battle. We can definitely do another here. So let's just go this way. Uh, we've got some new enemies here. The Blade Master. I don't think I've seen you before. Defeat any three enemies. Easy peasy. Start battle. So what have we got? Infected Bite. Applying to weak. Here we have Shimitar Slash. Applied to vulnerable in a cleave. And then Jakia Trap. Shovel one burn cards into the target stack. Shackle the apply five burn. Okay. Hmm. Both quivers were drawn on the first turn. Now we will get to the point where we need to we will, we, will, we will learn whether there's a hand limit. And this is a good way to test it. Like Oh, oh no no no. Ah right. When you have two enchantments of the same type, they don't uh, they do stack but in in the number of turns that they last not in effect. It's not like they run side by side, giving us two extra arrows per turn. But it just lasts for six turns. That's definitely not worth it. So, uh, yeah, we will be taking out the unupgraded one after the battle. That makes a lot of sense. And I hadn't thought it through. So what do we do here? We will play the Crusader Strike. Getting no healing. Judgment would get some healing going. We can give ourselves shield here, and I think we will. Rejuvenate on Leon. Forty-one damage on this shadowy arrow here, so that's just like one shotting these folks. Except these guys are resistant to that specifically, so if I want to get a kill, I'll have to do it like this. Uh, that redirected his attack and changed it to something much worse. Fun. Huh. Not really what I intended. Play all the things. Do we play the immunity? No. Power grip. Pull the target to your lane and re queue their existing attack card. Right. Um, but I, if anyone is supposed to be hit by this, it would be Angon because he's the only one with proper defense right now or shield. So we'll just take it as it is. Bam, bam, bam. Burned. Hmm. A 
But these two are really weak. We can probably even finish this turn. Quick draw, multi shot. Yeah, okay, so we have reached the hand limit here. Multi shot. Slow down and think about your play before you do stuff. Heal up with Leon, good. Now we're getting somewhere. As in, we might not even want to finish the fight this turn, even though we could. Just because then we get a little bit more healing. But nah. Oh, Leon makes us money when he hits stuff, so let's just attack. Good stuff. We have a pretty powerful build going here. Uh, it's just with low on health, right? Once we get to full health, I'm ready to face the boss. An upgraded Static Fury Resolve, apply one weak and one vulnerable in a splash. Hmm. Inspiration plus the target draws three cards. Now we are starting to see some real draw mechanic here. That's really interesting because you have a hand limit of five and it, it you don't get new actions. So when is this good? If you have lots, lots of really low cost cards, which we don't really. I think we take the Static Fury. I kind of like that one. Uh, do we equip it yet already, already though is a good question. I think we can take out a pummel, yeah, for the Static Fury upgraded. It will be one or zero cost most of the time and then it's really good. Forge, buy new artifacts, check it out anyway. Gain two shield whenever you draw a card, but not at the start of turn, I think. Yeah, drawing cards outside of your turn cycle. Battle Maze, apply one wound whenever you hit an enemy, and a wound is reduce all healing and shielding to the target. Interesting, we've never had that as a player mechanic before, we've had the enemies use that before quite a few times. Powder Kick then, deal six damage in a splash whenever you destroy an enemy, not a huge fan of this one. Meteor Stone Blade, reduce the first damage you receive to zero each turn. That of course is one of the better items in the game. I'm leaning towards just buying it, but I also really want that item that gave us, or that artifact that gave us uh, apply one poison whenever you hit an enemy, which I think we can go back and buy. We'll put that on Terra, that would be really good. Let me see if I'm right about that. Pretty sure it was up here. Indeed. Venomance is warned. And then we can't afford the other thing. This this is very essential for uh, for Terra, and I'll tell you why. Because now we're taking the toxic arrows out of the deck, giving her that item, uh, probably even getting rid of the tribal boulevard for her and just giving it to someone else. It's kind of hard to combo off of it, but I, there's no reason to not put it in it uh, on someone for sure. Then we add in the Heartseeker arrows instead, and take out a, an enchanted quiver. And then I guess we put in another quick draw. For now. I really want to save up for that armor though. So that'll be the next goal. 450 I think. On this way. And... We can squeeze in a super elite villain, no worries. The Shard Battle, normal difficulty against Apothecary Gobo, a new character we've never seen before. Gobo mixes a concoction over an open fire. You approach stealthily to avoid tipping your hand. He finishes the potion over the fire and raises the pot to take a drink. A good throw would knock the puck out of his hands and into the fire. We can let him drink the potion. If it spills, it might ruin the campfire. I see. So then we get a campsite, but enemies gain power. 
Sure. The campsite is healing at the end of the fight then, which is good. And I think it'll make up for the extra damage, who knows. And spicing up the battles with a bit of extra power on the enemies is always fun. So let's just do it like this. Akan is going to make me a general after I hand him your heads. Alright. Good luck with that. Uh, this guy is restoring health and applying power. You are attacking with 10 damage and apply 3 weak. So this is the upgraded versions now. And you are what? Also healing. Hmm. Well, we'll pommel to get the resolve. Oh, do we have a vulnerability for, the, for ourselves? No, we do not. So, Crusader Strike. I want to for sure say extra arrows and get a shadowy arrow for, for free two of them thank you and an enchanted quiver going yes and shadowy arrow dealing 45 damage that's crazy crazy damage i love it oh he's got light resistance hmm yeah, but we'll, we'll just attack into it and accept it. It's fine. That dealing 7 damage did not round up. I guess we didn't do 7 damage. What am I saying? Never mind. Mm -hmm. Give uh, Rejuvenate to yourself, Angon, because you're actually lower than Leon now. Leon will be moving over here so that Terra can tank that hit. And we should use her actions because she uh, I, uh, she will gain 4 actions per turn. So 42 damage to the super elite here. And do we give her bramble skin? No. Yep. Oh, and we should put out the fall familiar. We should put out the voodoo potion. And we will hold the scroll of immunity for now. Good round, I think. Good first round. A third of the super elite's health taken away and we did set up a whole lot of stuff with Terra healed Leon so so far so good but then then we get punished yikes 20 here mines here X and then bandage strike plus for three multi strike with eight damage each yikes so bramble skin seems really good but we would not want to take that damage if we can avoid it let's try the life cycle and see what happens uh, maybe hit someone who isn't resistant to the thing. Look at the... Uh, it says 5 shield when I on the cursor here. If I hover over him, it goes to 5. Direct damage taken reduced by 25%. Because of this rigor mortis thing. I see. But meanwhile, this guy has light resistance, and this is supposed to be light damage, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, it does, if you look at the number here. Yeah, minus two resist. And here, four. So it still does more damage here, and will probably give us some defense. Shield? Only ten. Hmm. Sure. Uh, Crusader Strike. Sandstorm here, dispelled cards, mind seer, and strike. Bramble skin. Uh, what are we doing in here? Quick draw. Heart seeker arrow. Lots of heart seeker arrows. Ghastly arrow. Blosive arrow. Now that poison, so that the heart seeker arrow. Then heart seeker arrow or ghastly arrow. This one does 32, this one does 41. We have some ultimates to dish out, which is great because this is gonna significantly decrease the amount of damage we take this turn. Very good. Uh, the bolts are here. <laughs> oh, we have lethal already. Insane. Uh, the question then. Do we take the lethal? 
or do we go another round in order to heal up more? We're taking six damage over here. That didn't heal him. Ah, this do the lethal. Pretty crazy early finisher here. 201 gold. Arcane Orb. Gain three shields whenever you play an Arcana card. Arcana card. Leon has quite a few of those. Hmm. Tempted. Brass Knuckles. Not really interested. Ah, ammo crate. Draw one card whenever you empty your, empty your hand once per turn. No. Arcane Orb it is. Okay. That's really good for Leon for sure. Explosive Trap, Hamstring, and Noxious Trap. This is an Arcana card. So this one gives him three defense now. Deal one, four damage and apply two vulnerable. I think I really like that. Upgraded Hamstring, sure. Uh, instead of... Could be the Power Grip or the Pummel. Or the Challenge. Oh, this one's Expend? Huh. Interesting. I think we take out the power grip. Add in the hamstring. Good. Continue. So we restore 12 health. Then we continue to the camp where we can also heal. Just flat heal 50% of health, so then we get to full or we can heal for specific. Yeah, so it says you found a clearing in the woods. The air feels peaceful here. It looks like the corruption hasn't reached this place. You feel safe enough to rest here for a bit. Uh, I guess it's either or. We can't do all of these things, right? So I can't both upgrade four random cards and heal the whole team or... But this is good. Yeah, getting to full health. We also get an essence upgrade. Very nice. Um, we only have one character who doesn't have four AP every turn. Feels like I'm, I'm I'm definitely tempted to give that to Angorn. Feels like I should. I feel like that's just so good. So we will. Uh, here's a shrine. The shock thing or wealth gold gained from enemies increased by 20%. No, we will go for. I think upgrading light is a bad idea. Uh, it doesn't say so here, but I'm sure that Raksar has an, an amount of light resist some, sometimes, or at least some of his allies will have it or something. So let's try this smiting thing. It's also light damage, I guess, but. And then... No, but hold on. Hear me out. Yeah, he doesn't do a whole lot of light damage, actually, anymore. Yeah, no. So, draw smiting. Sure. We can reach a uh, lost papyrus down here. Let me do that real quick. Oh, we have 500 gold, which is enough to buy that shiny armor. Meteor Stone Blade. So first hit taking every round. Uh, I'll give it to Angorn. No, no, no. He's got that insane defense ability. Arcane Orb helps here, and she's got the tag on. Hmm. So we'll give the Targon to Angorn, and she, Terra, can have the Meteor Stone Plate. I had completely forgotten about the Cloak of Dusk, uh, since it, which is important now that I'm moving Leon around more than I used to do. So now we got we got to remember to uh, attack with with Terra before I start shuffling her around. Okay, let's go and grab that quest. And 
here. It made a shard drop over there. Okay. Oh, and we also get source long shot just like that. Okay. Uh, normally, I wouldn't even grab this one. I know people have been telling me it's good. I just think like dealing more damage or something will be better. But I suppose if I get it for three, I will use it. Now we have all filled up our artifact slots. We have full health. We have um, good upgrades and abilities. Upgrade two chosen cards here. We will upgrade... something a an arrow probably is a good idea or like a judgment wouldn't be terrible the life cycle upgrade <laughs> i mean clearly it's a really powerful card i think it's broken so I'm, I'm i'm hesitating to upgrade it and i won't in fact so oh bramble skin I think a judgment is nice to upgrade the extra healing and the extra defense uh, attack and oh hmm, she doesn't really need that many more actions i think heart seeker arrow upgraded would not be terrible especially now that we they are always poisoned basically the enemies and then I think we're ready to do the boss battle. I might decide to just do some more stuff like I just did with by going to going to camps to upgrade cards really quickly to get to just use the steps. But I'm not gonna do any more battles before we do with the boss. Boss battle nightmare. Okay. Well, that should be exciting. So see you tomorrow, folks, and bye-bye.